War Thunder has a lot of vehicles, but variety is the spice of life, so it can have more. Today we're going to go over the armored cars of the US from World War II that ought to be added to the game. Why is this the first topic of choice? It's because I think they're a lot of fun, and World War II is my favorite era of the game. US Armored Car Doctrine primarily saw these vehicles as reconnaissance scouts who would survey enemy positions before returning to base. Their primary defense was speed to escape would-be attackers, and as such most of these vehicles uh, never had more than some machine guns and a small cannon. Let's get into the vehicles. There's a trio of heavier armored cars for the US. Most of these share a similar armament, but there are some notable exceptions. The T-17, T-17E1, and T-18 were known as the Deerhound, Staghound, and Boarhound, respectively. I think they're all viable candidates to add. They vary in size and number of road wheels, but are most otherwise similar. All these armored cars mounted 37mm guns with a coaxial 30 cal. Their turrets were fully enclosed and possibly could have mounted a 50 cal on them. They're all relatively fast and maneuverable, decently protected against small arms, but any large cannons would pretty easily penetrate them. There is a close support version of the T-17 known as the T-17E3. It used the same turret as the M8 uh, HMC, which is in-game. There was also a version with a 75mm gun known as the T-66 GMC which was a further development of the cars and used what seems to have been a Sherman's gun. It had an open turret as well. You could probably compare this to the Pack Puma in terms of role and placement within the tech tree. I think all these vehicles would be good choices for either rank one or two especially so uh, they can do their actual scouting as they did historically. Uh, as an aside, I do believe there should be a way for players to earn the T-18E2 in some way, which has been in the game for a couple years now, but is pretty much sold out on the marketplace. It actually uses the 57mm gun, which is a licensed version of the 6-pounder that the British made. Uh, that armament makes it one of the more unique armored cars uh, from the list. There's also some light armored cars and a couple gun carriers. The elephant in the room, of course, is the M8 Greyhound. In War Thunder, the M8 LAC is only available to US tankers on the marketplace. Right now it goes for almost 400 Gaijin coins, which is an absurd amount of money. For a vehicle that was given away for free during an old anniversary, I really think there's no reason it shouldn't just be given away yearly or even you know an event or being able to just buy it in some way. It was the staple US armored car and pretty much the only one that was mass produced there's no way for people to earn it unless they play China. And just to have it gated behind such a high price is ridiculous. At the very least, there is an, a slight development of it known as the M8E1 that changes the suspension a little bit. I think that could be added to the standard US tree, maybe at rank 2 for scouting. But with that out of the way, we can move on to some other vehicles. The Greyhound was developed uh, as the war went on and eventually resulted in the M38 Wolfhound. It used the same armament, but it was somewhat larger uh, and had a little bit better armor. I think this would be fine to be added. Really all the armored cars with you know something hound, I think are fine. Their production more or less close enough. There is an M38 E1, as I'm calling it, uh, which was the M38, you might've seen it pictures, it has a Chaffee's turret on it. Um, from my research, this was not a fully traversable turret. It was welded in place uh, and simply used as a test to see whether the M38 could mount a 75mm gun. Uh, it seems to have been doable, but like I said, the turret could not traverse. Normally, I wouldn't advocate for adding an impossible tank, but I think it'd be really cool to see the Wolfhound with the Chaffee's turret on it in an actually fully traversable uh, mount. The final vehicle I want to talk about is the standard T-55. The T-55E1, of course, is in the game, but the same developers of that also produced a different model, just known as the T-55. It had an additional 50 cal mounted in a turret ring kind of near the back, uh, but used the same 3-inch gun in sort of a forward position. It was a lot larger and had a sort of a beefier profile. 
Those are all the uh, American armored cars that could still be added from my research. Uh, if you know any other cool or weird designs, just let me know what I missed and I'll make a follow-up. Next time we'll go over the British-designed armored cars, or British-used, so be sure to stay tuned and thank you for watching.